to connect Apple Pencil first generation to both supported iPad Pros and unsupported ones. If your iPad Pro has a lightning port, your iPad officially supports these steps. If it doesn't, please watch these steps and that will make sense in around 10 seconds. So first, pop off the lid for your Apple Pencil and then connect the charging port into your iPad. So patiently wait for the pairing request. It may ask you to turn on Bluetooth 2 and tap pair. If this doesn't work, you will need to get a toothbrush and just brush the charging port of your iPad as it may have some dirt in it. Now let's move over to unsupported iPad. The reason you should have watched the previous part of the video is the first step for unsupported iPad is we will need to pair the Apple Pencil to an iPad which does natively support Pencil 1. So you can borrow an iPad from a friend, you will only need to do this once. And so once it's paired, you head to the Bluetooth settings, select the I by Apple Pencil, and forget this device. You must do this even if your old iPad is long gone and sold, otherwise these next steps simply will not work. So please don't whine in the comments. Now, on your unsupported iPad Pro, we're going to open the App Store and we're going to need to search for Light Blue and we're going to get the Light Blue app. This is completely free. We will also need to have either Apple Store's USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter. You can buy this from Apple directly or get a third party one on Amazon but if the third party one is used, it may not work. And then what we need to do is we're gonna pop off the lid of our Apple Pencil one, and we're gonna connect it to the adapter. And then the other end of the adapter, we connect one side of our iPad charging cable, and the other side, we're gonna to connect to the iPad. So this adapter is made for iPad 10th generation. So it will say accessory not supported, that is okay. Remember, this is unofficial steps. So just tap on okay to dismiss this. Now, open the light blue app. And we're just gonna refresh because we wanna see the Apple Pencil show up. It shows up here. If it's not showing, restart the iPad and then try again. So you will tap on your Apple Pencil to attempt the connection. Now, if you see this screen and the next step works great, but please keep on watching because there's more to this video, okay? If it doesn't work, you have to use that old iPad. So we'll type in our password, which is 1234, it's universal for everyone, and then tap pair. So once we are paired, this will work, but only temporarily. So here we go, it's working. Even the new iPad Pro features like the hover feature are working. However, the reason why I said you have to keep on watching is because if you ever want to charge your Apple Pencil, which you will need to do, once you do that, the pencil will stop working and this method will stop working unless you do these steps. So your Apple Pencil is not working anymore. To fix it, just open the settings, head to the Bluetooth settings and tap the I next to the Apple Pencil and then forget the device. Now, you have to repeat the early steps of connecting to the adapter, go to the light blue, and then refresh for the Apple Pencil, and then we'll wait for it to show up, and we will tap to connect, enter in the 1234 password, just like this, and then it's gonna work. Please leave a like, because this video is painful to make, and hope this helps.